boys and girls. It's Miss Weezar here. Today we're going to be doing, um, it's called Abstract Expressionism. By far the most famous abstract expressionist, his name was Jackson Pollock. He was known as Jack the Dripper because he would just fling paint at the canvas. Um, you can see his work at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., my favorite abstract expressionist artist, his name was Hans Hoffmann. So his art is um, the first two paintings in the slideshow. So basically there are no rules for this assignment as long as it's non-representational. And that means your art should not appear to look like anything. Okay? So you just you can use blocks of color, you can use shapes, you can use lines, but don't make it look like a house. Don't make it look like a person. It's just however you imagine it, but non-representational. Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example here. So it's super therapeutic, very fun. I love this style of art. All right, so I'm gonna do mixed medium. I'm gonna start with the things I color first, and I'm gonna go ahead and layer over it with some paint. So it's really whatever. And while you're doing this, if you wanna put some music on, give you some inspiration, you may. So I'm just going for it. I'm gonna do something super quick. Can use lines. This is an example of automatic art, by the way, when we talked about um, surrealism the other day. It's whatever you imagine. This is all I'm going to do for the markers. I'm going to go ahead and add some pastels. I love pastels because they're much brighter than crayons. This board is super wobbly. switch to paint here in a minute. I'm gonna have to take the um, paper off the board and work flat on a flat surface. Again, I'm not asking you to copy me in any way. You're gonna make your own creation. It doesn't have to look like Ms. Weezar's at all. Okay, I'm gonna think I'm gonna tilt the camera down on the desk. So if you have paint, now put some paper, uh, newspapers down so your parents don't get mad at you, or me. <laughs> Don't make a mess. And if you do, clean it up. Okay, here goes nothing, guys. Okay. So, surely could do this with a brush. I'm actually going to do some dripping effects here. So, I'm going to tilt the camera down. Here goes nothing. So, I'm just going to. Drip some colors. Now, some colors, when you mix them, look yucky. So if you are going to do something with paint, you don't want to blend all the colors together because if you do, it's going to get kind of muddy and it just won't look very pretty, unless that's what you're going for. So I'm just kind of drizzling some colors here. can also spread the paint with a brush. So, okay. Now that I have done that, I mean, it's pretty the way it is, but I'm going to go ahead and make some swirls here. So I'm not going to go overboard with my blending of colors. Let me tilt the camera down. I'm not going to go overboard when I blend these colors out. Because again, some colors when they mix don't look very good together. Now you don't have to do this as quickly as Mrs. Weezar is. You can definitely take your time. This is just for demonstration purposes. That's just kind of fun. And there you have it. Blend out these spots. Okay, let's see my masterpiece. Let's hold the camera up. Voila! <laughs> Abstract.
abstract expressionism. Okay, guys, have fun. Have a good day. Bye.